During campaign season, attack ads seem to be everywhere, but as Scott Sheehan tells us, they might not be as effective as politicians thought. In election year, candidates run ads that put a negative image of their opponent in a voter's mind. Sometimes it's meant to inform the voter about something negative they weren't aware of. Other times they just take 30 to 60 second blasts at their opponent. Professor Rich Hanley thinks this could lead to mutual self-destruction. Both sides launch these virulent political ads and the American po population, the voting public, is turned off not only to each candidate but to politics in general. Because it's political speech, there really isn't a boundary to what can be said. However, many voters don't think attack ads work. They think the time would be better used informing the voters of their ideas. I don't think it works. That's what I think. I know who I want to vote for, and I voted for them. Like, I feel like they're just detrimental to the person's campaign as opposed to convincing people to vote for them. But not all candidates agree with attack ads. State Representative candidate Leslie Denardis isn't comfortable with going on the attack. I think the candidates should put forth what they want to do, their solutions to problems, and, and let the voters decide. Whenever politicians run political attack ad campaigns, it's the TV companies who always win. In the few months leading up to an election, particularly an election cycle like this one, on local TV stations are doing very well because they're getting paid full freight and they're getting paid in cash. Candidates are spending an increasing amount on their campaigns, so much so that their attack ads are annoying many voters. I can't tell you how many people, upon greeting them, would tell me how tired they were of the attack ads. Almost every single person I've asked just has no tolerance for it. Based on this election's results, we'll see if politicians will continue to invest in their attack ads. In Hamden, Connecticut, I'm Scott Sheehan.